And now I present to you James P. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. White circle, it has a black cross. Yeah, yeah. Bill yeah. Cosby. Oh, what's going on with him? Is scheduled to be deposed by model Janice Dickinson's attorney Did he? in her defamation lawsuit against the comedian for denying that he raped her. He didn't. Um, he didn't offer Janet Dickinson his fat Albert. Well, he did once upon a time. <laughs> he yeah. raped her. Oh, you mean he, he gave her a Mickey? Yeah. Like he normally does, knocked her out. So now she's suing him. Oh. Attorney Lisa Bloom confirmed Wednesday that she will depose Cosby on November 23rd. This year. Judge Deborah Katz <laughs> Weintraub ruled that Bloom could depose Cosby but limited the deposition to evidence showing the denial of the lawsuit's main allegation that Cosby raped the model in Lake Tahoe in 1982. Oh, geez. Was that when he was doing I Spy, or, or maybe that was after it? The limitation essentially prevents extensive questioning of Cosby about the 50 other women who have accused him of Fifth. sexual assault <coughs> or, or abuse. Well, there's a good chance he slipped them all Mickey's. I mean, for that many women to go against him? Yeah, he's responsible for taking the little rascals off the air. <coughs> Ben Carson yeah. counters the media exploration of his personal narrative with exasperation and frustration, as if it is he alone who has to had, had, had to withstand this level of scrutiny. He is not unlike, say, um, Hillary Clinton who was forced to explain the true circumstances of her run for cover on the tarmac from enemy fire. Circumstances. And what about someone like President Obama, who spent countless hours in unnecessary refutation of the insistent harangue led by Donald Trump and others, questioning the place of his birth? Politicians. Mm -hmm. often embellish personal truths and for that sin they should be held accountable. But this group of Republican candidates has made mistruth their own relishing it seems their capacity to, to say almost anything about anything without believing examination is warranted or appropriate. No? Carson is not being attacked or vilified. No, this is not an uneven hand of the press clamping down upon him. But that is the message that will be conveyed to the followers of the former neurosurgeon. And how impressive is that title? And they will, if recent history is prolonged, join in the call for mass deportation of the left-wing media. The left-wing media? I well, that's what's coming against him. I don't think that's uh, that ever existed. You know? Former neurosurgeon. So he is not a... He was not a practicing neurosurgeon when he... He is retired. Oh, he, oh he's at all. Well, he obviously... He oh, retired. Or, or he's he was uh, he's former financially uh, independent enough to retire younger. I would assume. Okay. I think that people should investigate that past. Mm. There might be a couple of skeletons there. 
Okay? I'm, I'm sure you'll Because find if he's so dumb otherwise, I'm sure there are more problems with his skill. Well, yeah, I mean, he's liable to forget and drop a friggin' Tootsie Pop in, in, into an open cavity or something and leave a monkey wrench in there or something. You know, I mean, I, 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 would, I do not feel confident having a neurosurgeon like Ben Carson working on me, you know, with, with how preposterous and how unstable and crazy and dumb he is in, in all other areas. Ben Carson <coughs> stated he was offered a scholarship. Really? Point. Yeah, right. What is the issue? Athletes are offered opportunities to attend military academies, which in essence is a scholarship. But the athletes need to go through the application process just like all other interested candidates. So it is very possible that a representative from West Point offered Carson the opportunity to go through the application process to become a cadet. Carson was most likely an outstanding high school student from Detroit who would have been a tremendous asset to West Point and certainly a role model for other students who lived in Detroit. Don't do it. Don't join the military academy. I, I, I remember uh, the uh Air Force captain I dated, uh, used to date, she says uh, in the Iraq war, Bush was sending officers in, uh, you know, by, n near, uh, in harm's way, in, in the combat zones. The officers didn't escape necessarily danger. Service Academy students exchange four years of free schooling a scholarship for five years of military service. Part of the application process includes the service academy candidate getting a federal, senatorial, or congressional recommendation before applying to a service academy. Obviously, Carson did not pursue attending West Point but it is quite possible that he was approached to attend the academy. Your author needs to do his homework regarding students being approached, whether for academics or for athletics, to attend U.S. service academies. It should be known that one is spouting about before he criticizes anyone. He does a great disservice to Carson by making it look like the popular presidential candidate is a liar. He is. <laughs> what needs to be done is write another column featuring an apology to Mr. Carson. Yeah, right. Who's this teabag or bastard? This, this, this. Jeez, I got a hell of a lot of shit on R Carson. Right wing bullshit. Yeah, a lot of Carson stuff, huh? Yeah. Why do you, they're paying so much attention to Carson? Why? Because he really is neck and neck with Trump, or because he's black? Or, I mean. <laughs> Probably because he's getting all of this goddamn attention because of the, for being stupid. All the preposterous things he's saying. Yeah. Do you want to read one more? Or you want to Obesity. Obesity. It's still rising among American adults. Really? It's getting worse? Despite more than a decade of public awareness campaigns and other efforts to get people to watch their weight. And women have now overtaken men in the obese 
category. Sure, they're watching their weight, all right? They're watching it go up. <laughs> For the past several years, experts thought the nation's alarming decades-long rise in obesity had leveled off. Uh, the U.S. food industry selling toxic poison, the, the fast food industry, this is what people are consuming. But the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said in a report on Wednesday that the obesity rate has climbed to nearly 38% of adults, up from 32% about 10 years ago. This is striking and suggests that a situation that was thought to be stable is getting worse. Another authority the, at the University of North Carolina, Barry Popkin, <coughs> urged caution, <sighs> saying the participants selected for the study may not have been representative of the nation as a whole. Experts said they had no explanation for why the obesity rate appears to be rising. The report, based primarily on a survey conducted in 2013-2014, also found a tipping of the scales toward women. Obesity rates for men and women had been roughly the same for about 10 years, but in the new report, the rate was significantly higher for women at 38% compared to 34% for men. Obesity, which means not merely overweight, but seriously overweight. Yeah, jeopardizing your health. Is considered one of the nation's leading public health problems. Until the early 1980s, only about one in six adults was obese. But the rate climbed dramatically until it hit one in three about ten years ago. I think my statement before was accurate about the um, Amer um, food availability in America type of foods. <coughs> the new figures come from a regular government survey that involves not only interviewing people about their girth, but also actually weighing them. See, the bad part is the affordable foods are the toxic ones. The crap. That's the problem. Because of that, it is considered the gold standard for measuring the nation's waistline. However, it has about 5,000 participants each year. Far fewer than some other federal surveys that ask about weight. Generally, it can be harder to draw reliable national conclusions from a smaller survey. The widening gap between men and women seems to be driven by what's happening among blacks and Hispanics said the study's lead author. Obesity rates for white men and white women remain very close, but for blacks, the female obesity rate has soared to 57%. The affordability of good food. Far above the male rate of 38%. Mm -hmm. The gender gap is widening among Hispanics, too. 46% for women, 39% for men. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it was bad before, but I did not realize that it got worse. I mean, uh, um, you know Call that... Me in chitlins, man. The government... Uh, It's not doing anything for the best interests of the... I'm talking about government agencies like uh, the USDA and the FDA. Uh, there's no regulations because of your lovely Republican Congress. No 
of big agra regulations or, or you American, heard Jeb Bush he wants no rules at all or American food industry regulations and 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 uh, sugar is white sugar is is profit it's big business you know uh, 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 sick people are big business health care in this country is health, business so uh, they were I think they're in cahoots they work hand in hand you know, uh, uh, um, um, producing poison as food, GMOs, uh, um, and and um, all the chemicals and pro has, processed foods. Uh, it all, has results. Yeah, or the fast food industry. I mean, uh, a McDonald's hamburger being pink slime <gasps> instead of a real hamburger. Yeah. Chemicals even in the milkshakes. I mean. The oil, it was, there's been articles on on uh, your cheap run-of-the-mill vegetable oil and canola oil being very da dangerous to your health. So, you know, it's not just trans fats that are dangerous, it's even the uh, processed soybean oil and canola oil that's bad for you. Um, of course, I read some good articles proving that they were wrong about butter. Butter is best. Butter is better. Yeah. Um, and, um, but you know, uh, unfortunately, the toxic poison is affordable to poor people. This is the problem. Mm -hmm. But anyway, thank you. That's it, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us for this week's Progressive Discussions. The King is now signing off. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. When is Thanksgiving? Uh, I, don't know. I know it's in November, right? Look on the calendar. Yeah, okay. If I'm not mistaken, it's somewhere around at 20 toyed. Towards the end of the month, okay. Yeah, I love that holiday, man, because I love, I love turkey and all the great food that goes with it. Since my sister's a wonderful cook. This has been a Mega Life Twenty One production. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times. So you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com Hi, I'm William Morrow. Wake up, people, because the truth is often, very often, a very, very hard pill to swallow. Hey, listen, for the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye.